Hey, what's going on, everybody? How are you doing? Well, thanks for asking. I'm doing horrible as of five minutes ago. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys enjoy this one because it's another video of me uh, ranting. Whatever happened to being normal online? Can we can we just take a second and look back at what it was like to be normal online for a second? Just for, just for a second. You remember when you could go into YouTube comment section and just like um, talk, just ask something, or just say like a comment? like you know what the comment section is supposed to be whatever happened to that because i feel like it kind of died off like the stone age and right now we're in like the technology era of like the internet because i swear to god when i was like 10 years old scrolling on youtube the comments were kind of just like other 10 year olds chilling they were just big chilling they were watching dan tdm and having the same exact questions as me except i wasn't old enough to have a gmail account according to my parents um that's that's that was bullshit, and I know that now. But I feel like with the whole anonymity, anonymity, anonymous, anonymous, oh my fuck. <laughs> what I was trying to basically say is uh, I feel like people hide behind their accounts on social media and just have the intrusive thoughts in their head just, you know, work their magic. There needs to be a button on TikTok and social media in general of just like, uh, I'm gonna censor this one. For once in my life, I think King John Un actually had the right idea with uh, censoring social medias. I'm gonna stop blabbering for a second and show you guys what I mean. Now, this TikTok was actually just an ad. It wasn't even an actual TikTok. It was an ad on TikTok done by a creator who does ads. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I have no idea how to describe them any better than creators doing ads. Now, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. I didn't watch the ad because I don't care. But I went to the comment section because I was like, oh, this girl has a very annoying voice. I'm sure this is just gonna be people commenting on her really annoying voice. And boy, oh boy, was I wrong. Grip of death. Grip reaper. Holy grip. Guys, <laughs> what are we doing? There is no way your guys' first reactions to seeing an ad on TikTok is, mm, yeah, I bet it's grippy. My first instinct after seeing that ad was to go into the comment section and absolutely rip on her for her lowest griffin sounding ass voice. My first thought was not, oh man, I bet it grips well. At that point, I just kept scrolling because I was like, oh, surely it just, it can't get any worse. Holy fuck was I wrong. Is it creamy? <laughs> I'm beating it. <laughs> Can I get your snap was said by Tassive Mitz Lover. Every time I see one of these comments, I just remember that there's always two paths of every choice that you make, and there's a right path and a wrong path. The right path in this decision was to seek help. Why is your guys' first thought? Is it grippy? Is it creamy? And I'm beating it. I can't even fucking lie, it's actually really funny, but it, it's, let, let, let's, let's be honest here, it's weird. It's weird. It's, it's, it's really weird. It doesn't even apply to just women at this point. It also applies to rats. I saw this one on Instagram, a completely different platform and also a completely different type of fucking post. It wasn't an ad. It was literally just a normal post. Flight made an emergency landing after a guest found a live mouse in their meal. Wow, that must have really fucking sucked. So someone decided to comment, they could have just threw it out the window. Why did they have to land the plane? What the fuck do you mean they could have just thrown it out the window? There's so many things wrong with this comment. There aren't even openable windows on planes. And if they did, you would have been joining him in the air. <laughs> At what point does animal abuse apply to Instagram comments? This is just really funny to me. I don't know why, but I, I found it on Instagram shortly after I found those comments. I think everyone can mutually agree with me when I say that the comment section under any social media post is either extreme racism, some type of weird comment, <laughs> or people arguing for no reason, literally no reason. You could comment that something is the color white and it could very clearly be the color white, but people will still respond and be like, nope, it's, it's black. Not to be one of those people, but back in my day, if I said this shit online back in like 2011, when I was like fucking uh, a newborn, I would have been crucified. I would have been fucking posted online everywhere. But now it's become so normal. Dude, I could go under any girl's post, any guy's post, and it'll be a variety of comments of, is it creamy? How well does it grip? Is it pink and mushy or black and bushy? That one I made myself. Or I could go under any like guy's comments and it'll be like, is it long? Does it have a blanket? Will it fit inside of the homemade Pringles can that I made? Just common questions that people would ask. I found this one also really funny. I bet you have nice looking feet. I don't know what sick fuck would comment that. Oh wait, that, that was, that was mine. That, that was mine. Fuck. 